no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending This is your moment of clarity, coming to you today from Edinburgh, Scotland. So you've probably heard the people talking about global warming also mention how to boil a frog. The story goes that if you drop a frog into boiling water, he will immediately jump out because he'll think, holy fucking god, it's hot in here. But if you put a frog in room temperature water and then slowly bring it to a boil, the frog won't jump out because he'll just think there's something wrong with the thermostat and then he'll busy himself writing strongly worded letters to the hotel manager demanding a room with a more reasonable heating system. He'll keep doing that until he's a fried frog. Well, besides being an indictment of the intelligence of frogs, it's meant to make us ask ourselves, are we the frog? And maybe one day aliens far, far away will use us as their example of gradual, horrible change being ignored simply because it's gradual. They'll go, how do you boil a human? Well, you slowly heat up their planet, and even though it's them causing it, they won't care enough to do anything about it. The other day, for the first time in three million years, our planet passed 400 parts per million for carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Many scientists believe 350 parts per million is the maximum level for a truly safe and stable planet. But we left that number in the dust. 350 can eat our wake. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. Oh! Overrated! <laughs> Over. But people don't stop to think about all the positives of ignoring climate change. In only a few years, there could be affordable beachside property in Ohio. Not to mention affordable beachside melanoma and halitosis. You used to live on farmland, now you live on a fucking water park. How cool is that? No, but seriously, the reason there's so much supposed debate on climate change, and I don't mean debate among scientists, there's essentially no debate there, but the debate among others is because there are several types of people who either want global warming or don't mind it. First of all, you have the evangelicals who believe it's all in God's plan. Apparently God's plan includes killing tons of people with floods, droughts, and famine and making the planet uninhabitable. And why would he do that? Gay people. Fucking gay people. Always fucking shit up. There is nothing God hates more than a well-choreographed dance number. Seriously, gay people, why do you have to fuck up the entire planet for everyone? Next, you have Alex Jones's people who think a conspiracy is behind global warming and scientists somehow manufactured the 400 parts per million of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so that the corporate elite could make money from carbon trading. Yes, that's right. The same people who make trillions of dollars from everything oil are now tricking you to stop you from using oil so they can make a much, much smaller amount of money. It's like me betting you $5. I won't tear up my own $20 bill. And then I do it, you give me the $5, and I go, so wheat, look who's $5 richer. The truth is, Alex Jones needs a conspiracy once a week or else people turn off his fact-free program. So this week, what do you know? He has a conspiracy to tell you about. This is my only question for Alex Jones and his fans. When was the last time someone just actually died and wasn't assassinated? Never? Really? No one's ever died? Then there's one final group that love global warming, the corporate plutocrats, who don't mind global warming so much because A, they make insane amounts of money from us burning oil, and B, they want the oil underneath the Arctic. So they love that the Arctic is melting. They don't give a fuck about a penguin. I know, penguins don't live in the Arctic, but still, you gotta admit, they don't give a fuck about a penguin. Note to self, purchase website, they don't give a fuck about a penguin.com. I have to admit, it's nice to see the idiots and the douchebags coming together on something. They really have put their differences aside to go forward hand in hand in opposition of what every scientist is saying. The truth is the debate is over, and we're passing one horrible milestone after another while we sit here arguing an inarguable debate. I would say the debate is moot, but I looked up the word moot in the dictionary and the definition is number one, arguable, as in this debate is moot, and number two, inarguable, as in in this debate is moot, so it's high time we took the word moot out to the shed and beat the shit out of it. It's, it's, it's having an identity crisis, and we don't have time for our words to go off soul-searching. So if you think about it, 
If you put a human in a boiling pot of water, he would jump out. If you put him in room temperature water and then bring it to a boil, he would probably still jump out. But if you put him in room temperature water with three other humans, and while the water slowly came to a boil, the three others told him reasons, he should think that either the water is not getting hotter or that God wants it to get hotter, then the human will stand there until he dies a horrible death and takes the frogs with him. And that's been your moment of clarity, coming to you from Scotland today, land of the rainy, moldy castles. As you can tell, I'm touring, so go to leecamp.net slash schedule to see if I'm going to be near you. And this music here at the end is the song We Want by my friends in the band Junkyard Empire. Thanks a lot. Land, supporting Bye. human conditions, not free market propaganda and corrupt politicians. Cause they own by special interest groups that fund their campaign. That's why you hear the same old things they claim, but change never came. It's a dirty game maintained by rain for capital gain. But my people getting tired of the pain.